Hi, today we're going to talk about filtering tabular data in WinTrack 6. So you can see I have my download open and I'm going to go to the tabular view by double clicking on my graph. I double left clicked and here's my tabular view. I'm going to go ahead and expand this. And you'll notice in the upper left hand corner I have this pull down menu here. And I can use this to sort the information in the download. So for example, if I want to filter by shutdown alarms only, I can go ahead and do that. And here are all my shutdown alarms. Okay, so you can see here I have a code 63 or a couple of code 63s, a code 20 and a code 61. Now what I want to do is these are all the shutdown alarms in this download and I want to investigate them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this code 63 and then I'm going to right click it and I'm going to select mark selected row. Now when I put this back in the download this line will be highlighted and that's how I do it will be like this. I go back up to my pull down menu, I click on all data and then I go to the tabular view again and right click and I go to the marked row and there's my marked row and here's my alarm code. Now I can see the time before the alarm and the time after alarm. So if I want to see the three to five minutes leading up to the alarm code, here it is. I can take a look at it. I can see the unit start to run healthy and have it start to go wrong, and I can see it in the download. I can see the context. All right. Also, what I can do with this, which is very useful, is if I want to do pre-trip, or I'm sorry, defrost. These are all the times when my defrost, and I can see what kind of defrost. So this was a time defrost, a variable differential defrost, and this all means different things. And again, if I want to go check out one of these defrosts, I can highlight it, and I can go to Mark Selected Row, and then go back to All Data, and then right click again and go to marked row and here's my defrost in its context. Now I can take a look and see what the unit was doing right before the defrost and right after it. Notice all of these other topics that I can filter by. All right, everything from alarms only to shutdown alarms only, start of trip, power up, defrost, you can see it all right there. And you can filter by all of this, making the WinTrack 6 a very powerful troubleshooting tool. Thank you.